Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a comparison between these two Cuisinart ice cream makers. Both of these make soft serve ice cream and you can add your mix-ins. So I'm not going to be making ice cream in this video, but I want to show you. I've made some earlier. It is a delicious tasting ice cream that is soft serve. Now it melts really quick. I love that you can add the mix-ins. Now on the left, I got the model number ICE-48. And on the right, I got the model number ICE-45. So the ICE-45, the one on the right, is the older version. They do have some improvements over the new one. The old version retails anywhere from 80 to 130. The new one I'm seeing at around 180 right now. Okay, so in this video, I am going to show you the differences between the two. They look a lot alike, but hardly anything is interchangeable between the two. But they both operate with the same theory of operation, how they freeze the ice cream and how you mix it. That's all the same. It's just the parts are not interchangeable. So first thing up at the top, you've got this container. This is where the ice cream is made. You've got to freeze this overnight. Again, you've got this one. It's got liquid in it. This has to freeze overnight. Here's what it looks like in the inside there. Now, these two are not interchangeable. They're just enough different. Down at the bottom, it's just a little bit different. We can see, you know, this one here has a little bit bigger opening, the ICE-48. Then if we look at the mixing wheel, that holds true for this. This is just a little bit bigger. Over here, it's a little bit smaller, and around that opening is a little bit smaller for this one. So they both can hold some ice cream cones. This one's got a little lever that comes off. This also has a hot fudge warming that's going to keep the hot fudge warm so the switch has a three position you've got on and warm the ice the uh, hot fudge also or this one just has an on off now let's talk about the mix-ins so this one here the mix-ins are driven by this gear and that gear will will work whenever the handle is dispensed and the machine is on this simply just opens the chute so that when the gear will rotate it lets the stuff come out over here, it's different. Anytime I want mix-ins, I got to turn the handle myself. So, and same with the M&Ms, and same with the chocolate chips. I kind of like being able to do the mix-ins myself. Okay, so over here, for the mix-ins to work, the machine has to be on, the handle has to be down. You'll see now the gear works, but and this lever has to be out. You know, depending on what you want. And it's only going to add mix-ins like every other turn. Let's do the M&Ms. Let's do the chocolate chip. Let's do all three. But you see, it's that gear stops as soon as I put the lever up. Whereas over here, the machine doesn't even have to be on. I just turn the lever myself. There's some other differences. So the way you take this off, you turn this one, but it still operates the same. Well, you got to take the chute out first. And then this one rotates and that comes out. There's the opening when you that lets the ice cream out. This one, take the chute out. The chute is a little bit different. And then this is just a button release, but kind of the same thing. So with the newer one, they've tried to make it smaller. I do like the improvements, um, but both of them make great ice cream. And as far as cleanup, cleanup is the same. Cleanup is really tricky on these. I mean, they're it's really fun for the kids, but the cleanup is the is the kind of the downfall of these. I mean, I really like them, except it does take a lot of cleanup. Check out my video where I make ice cream with each one and I show you how to clean each one up. I just really prefer the Ninja Creamy. They just came out with a Ninja Creamy breeze that i absolutely love got a video on it and i have comparison videos between the cuisinart and the ninja little different tasting ice cream again soft serve the ninja is a little bit more a little bit harder ice cream but it's just cleanups easier and you can reuse the containers overall height the new one's 17 and a quarter the old one's about 18 and a half left to right on the new one 10 inches and 10 inches on the old one front to back about seven and a quarter and about seven and a half on the old one what I consider the best the best improvement, though, is the mix-ins. Being able to do the mix-ins yourself, I found it tricky. You know, this gear only turns when you're dispensing. And, and you know, sometimes you don't want to dispense a whole lot, but then you want more mix-ins, and you, there's really no way of doing it. That's, what, that's the major, major improvement over here. 
underneath the video. If you could give it a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. That helps out my YouTube channel. I will put links to both of these in the show description notes because sometimes this older one goes on sale for like $70 I've seen, I think, and maybe even 60. You know, this newer one is 180 right now. Appreciate everybody's support. Again, if you could, please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.